Hey guys, welcome to another episode of One Take. I know it's been a little while since the last one. I've been a little busy working on some new products at T-Rex Arms and I've had some training that I've had to travel around for some different things that I've been working on. But we're gonna be bringing these more regularly, hopefully in the near future. But today we're gonna to be shooting pistol. Last one, we did some rifle stuff. Uh, I filmed another couple videos. Obviously we we're focusing on rifles, but today we'll be focusing on pistol. And in this case, we will be using my EDC CCW Glock 19 that I carry all day, every day, seven days a week in the holster that I also use all day, every day, seven days a week. This is the T-Rex Arm Sidecar holster that I designed years ago. Obviously this holster is pretty prevalent. The style of holster is very prevalent on the market today, uh, but we were the first company to really market this style of one piece Kydex all fused together. There were obviously a couple other holsters on the market back years ago where you would bolt them together, different things like that. I didn't like those because the mag carrier was too floppy. It just didn't conceal very well. So we started working on this and this is like revision nine or 10 of what we originally started making like four years ago. So this is my CCW uh, Glock 19. I don't switch guns. I don't switch holsters a lot. This is what I use. I'll sometimes get a new sidecar in like a different color, uh, but I don't switch from different other holsters. I don't use four o'clock very often. Last time I carried four o'clock was for one, my, one of my older brother's weddings. And that was like three years ago, four years ago. So I'd really only use this all year round. But I have a RMR obviously on this 19. This is a Gen 4 with an X300. I've got extended controls. I've got a trigger from Tactical Trigger, uh, the company. And then I have some stippling. And then obviously I have some slide work done to this gun. Not that it really matters. It looks kind of cool, but having a bunch of ports and stuff like that doesn't make a real big difference. So today what we're gonna be doing is running some drills with this, obviously all in one take, doing just some competition style shooting, uh, some courses of fire at distance. We've got some targets at like 30 meters. We're gonna be shooting with this guy, showing you guys what can be done and then seeing if I can do that. And then some speed shooting and some shooting on the move. So let's do this. All right, we are starting the one take now. Okay, so to begin, now let me just explain. I have not done a lot of concealment work recently, so this video is very honest. So, but it's a draw, so it should be pretty simple. So uh, we'll be working just a basic cold start, six reload six or five reload five, we'll do six, build drill. I had to zero my gun earlier, otherwise this is a cold start. I had to switch the battery out on my RMR. RMRs, they say, have three years battery life, but that's battery life at like the middle setting, which you can't see. So if you leave it on at the highest or one below, which is what I do, so I can actually like see it in the day, you're looking at about a year or less of battery life for an RMR, roughly. So I had to switch out my battery this morning. It was a little dim. I couldn't go to my brightest two settings. So I swapped it out, quickly did a confirmation zero, 10 meters. Um, I have bosses on my slide so that it can kind of re-zero. And as you guys can see, that was me yanking it, but otherwise pretty good. I may have to finesse my zero a little bit once we go to 30 meters. If I see like everything is like on one side of the target and I'm pretty sure that's not me based on my trigger press, I'll probably make some adjustments as I go. I do that with my zero to refine my zero into what I need it to be, but decent. So we'll do six reload six, uh, like five yards to start and then we'll move into some other stuff. So like five yards from a timer. And we'll see what happens. First draw of the day. Whew, here we go. Let's do this. So you turn on the timer and then you have to hit it again. Always forget. All right, so uh, went slow on the shooting, like 90% speed. Good, good, that's, that's really slow shooting for this distance. That was a 5.03. Draw was pretty good, reload is pretty good. My grip could have been a little better after the reload. It's 2.5 split, a 2.2 split, a 2.1 split, a 2.2 split, a 2.2 split, a 1.6 reload, 2.4, a 2.2, a 2.1, a 2.2, and a 1.9, yes. And yes, I drank a monster uh, um, earlier this morning. All right, so let's, I can do stuff on paper all day. I can shoot this kind of stuff. It's good for mechanics, it's good for fundamentals. But what I tell guys is once they have this figured out, once they have the basics figured out, move into shooting further targets, move into shooting different target exposures, different kinds of things, getting used to that. Because I can shoot this guy all day and get a little better as far as some of my mechanics goes, but this doesn't, isn't as effective once I'm past this level as doing other stuff. So I'll do, let's do a couple one shot draws, see what the draw speed is, and then we'll move on down there and move on from shooting something like this. So single shot, five yards, we'll shoot into the number three. That's a center on the three. That's a one, one, three. 
That's probably a 110, 103. Hi, that was probably a 95, 98. One more. That's sub, sub second. Sub second, 94. So four tries. It's not great. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to more exciting, greater things. So I got my resupply here. Uh, okay, I know what we'll do. I got like four rounds, five, four rounds, and then I gotta do a reload. So we'll do, as you guys can see, I have a lot of stuff all lined up, ready for us to go. So I'm just gonna do these guys. No, I'm not. We're gonna do something further. We're gonna do a slide lock reload at distance. Show you guys some throttle control. So 25 meters, we'll go this guy in the center. I'll shoot till I'm slide locked. I'll load, do another five. The big thing here, obviously, is I'm shooting a little slower. My draw is still fast. My reload should still be fast. I'll slow down once I get there to finesse some, my, my sight picture, but there's no reason for me to draw slow, reload slow. It should all be fast. It's just the shooting that changes. So like five, reload five, whatever it is on this. Slide lock, reload, stand by. There it is. RMR flickered. I should probably tighten it up a little bit. Uh, I'll keep this empty, actually. It went to like one of the dimmest modes, and then as soon as I took that shot, it came back on. So I need to tighten my RMR. That means I'm not getting a good, uh, good contact. Uh, good accuracy, I've got two Charlies. Charlie, Charlie, Alpha, 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 Alpha. And that was in 893. All right, so this, it is what it is. We'll just keep running this as is and see what happens. But it did dim. All right, I'll do a little one reload one. Let's talk about the reload a little bit. I'll just shoot this guy up here. <laughs> Utterly dreadful. Empty magazine, tack mag into the gun. Big thing with the sidecar, uh, one of the big things I designed into this holster is the magazine is canted and angled away. So it's not straight up and down. One reason for that is it'll hit the optic. The other reason for that is that it's a very unnatural angle at which to access the magazine. At a natural angle, like you see competition shooters doing with their mag pouches, it's a much more natural angle to actually grab the magazine and put it into the gun. So I should be able to, those are two A's, at seven yards and 310, get a sub three. Empty, tack mag, back in, holster, and that was, 2.6, sub three, and that was these two right here. So that's what I'm looking for. It's seven yards, a sub three, one R1 from concealment is uh, top notch. So let's break down the reload real fast, show you guys kind of what's going on. And this is, I haven't practiced from concealment in, I, I can't tell you how long, but it's like riding a bike. Once you know it, once you've done it, you got it. So big thing when I'm drawing from concealment, let's break this down real fast. I try to grab my shirt somewhat consistently. So I'm not grabbing super up high. I'm not grabbing real low. I go for right, for the, right for the center of my shirt, right where the holster is. Reason for this is if I grab here at the chest and pull up, I'm already up at my jaw. And as you can see, my shirt has not cleared my holster at all. That's a problem. If I grab right where the gun is, regardless of how long my shirt is, I will clear that gun every time. If I grab the hem of my shirt, that can cause all sorts of weird problems back here where it could get hung up and then I actually can't like pull the shirt up enough. So I grab right where the gun is typically right between my spare magazine and the pistol itself. So consistent reference point, ish, grab, and then my hand is sliding down right on top, and I'm actually grabbing the top of the slide like so. I'm not trying to wrap my hand all around, because usually what you'll see people doing is they'll grab too low, and then they'll come out with a bad grip. So they're, this, they're gonna go into the shooting with a grip like this, and all that recoil is just gonna be nasty. So by th landing my thumb on top of the slide, I can then slide my thumb around and I have that nice high tang grip every time. That's what I want. So my draw going slow is literally just pull shirt up, my hand stays. I see a lot of people, they pull shirt and then they release and that shirt falls over the gun again. No, pull your hand up, leave it there, no excess motion. Hand will grab the pistol, up, grip. 
reload, and I'm set. Get rid of this guy. Give me, give me new ammos. Boom. Let's keep doing it. Let's go slow. Show you guys what's going on. Off the timer, 60% speed. Hands at sides. Shirt, gun, up, grip. 60% speed. Shirt, leave hand, grip. And I'm not, people say, watch the gun go into the holster. You should, if you're unaccustomed to drawing from concealment. I've done this tens and tens of thousands of times. I know I only have one shirt on plus an undershirt, so I know my clothing isn't gonna get in the way and discharge the firearm. If I had five layers of clothes on and I'm like swimming through clothing, I would definitely eyeball my holster and like grab all my shirts and stuff and then index my pistol into the holster. But in this case, I have one shirt to worry about. That's it, my undershirt, it's not gonna be a problem. Just depends on what you're wearing. 80% speed. Bad grip, I corrected it coming out. Grip too low. Shirt comes up. So there's no excess motion. I'm not moving my whole body. I'm not like jumping down and drawing. We want to eliminate that. I can stand perfectly still doing nothing. And the only thing that moves is hands. And I'm set just like that. Nothing else should be moving. I'm just locked in. Seeing that second side picture, that good follow through. And now we can observe the hits. Obviously I'm shooting slow, so of course these are all alphas. I'm not pushing myself, but I'll mark them up because now we're gonna get to the exciting stuff. All right, let's do a little bit of movement. We make sure I have enough bullets. Nope, that's the problem with shooting pistols like this. I'm not using 30 round mags, so I gotta get rid of you. Let's grab two. All right, so now we're gonna do something fun. Get it, do a little movement action. From this stick, one foot on each side, so I have a consistent area. Two, 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 move. Uh, mandatory reload, non-slide lock. Two, far, two. Let's see what happens. All right. You good? Yep. All right. Make sure the gun's loaded. Press check, evil press check, which everyone will complain about, but I don't care. People that complain about press checks are the people that don't shoot enough. Facts. Here we go, shooter ready, stand by. Ooh, I let that no shoot push those rounds. Not good, not good. Two A's, nice and close. Uh, settled in nice and quick, got on the gun like that. Ooh, this is bad, uh, two Charlies. Uh, I think that's a Charlie, I don't think it's a Delta. And then this guy, I, I was scared. I was scared of this guy, so that's probably a Charlie Delta. So that's bad. We wanna fix that. Nice aim bot on him, good aim bot on him. Got two A's on that guy. We got an Alpha Charlie over here. It was a nice little transition across. And then we have an Alpha Charlie here as well. All right, we'll do it one more time. Then we'll mix it up. That was a total time of 6.7. So I need this magazine. No, I don't. I'll use it. Evil press check again. All right. Reload on the move from concealment. Stand by. Bad grip, horrible grip with my support hand. If you make a mistake, there's nothing wrong with making mistakes provided you can call them and you know how to fix them. That's why we train on the range. We make our mistakes here. We don't make them in real life. This is horrible. Delta, Charlie. I need to go slower. So I had a bad support hand grip. I was too far forward. Ooh, look at that. So they, I fixed the problem on that guy. New problems manifested over here. Two Charlies on him. And that was a 709. It was a little slower because my grip was messed up. I had to shoot a little slower. Two Charlies and Alpha, uh, Alpha Charlie. All right, let's mix it up. Let's go do, let's do, um, let's do some distance. So I got this mag. Should be good. Should need another one. Grab this guy. Oh, no, I know what we'll do. No, 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 I want something more exciting. Something faster. 
All right, from here, these two, I'm then gonna run up and clean everything on the move. So I'll have to do a mandatory load because I don't have enough ammo. So again, I got a target at 30 meters and I have another one at like 25. Fast draw on those guys, take my time, get those shots, and then minimal hesitation once I'm done on this guy. My brain is gonna go, am I done? Yes, I am, where am I going? I'm going over here, can I move? Yes, I can. I want all of that stuff to be as fast as possible, all that processing. I want that second shot to break and I'm gone, like immediately. And then it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not gonna do a walkthrough, but I know roughly kind of what's over there. So that helps. All right, here we go. All right, dot dimmed a little bit. I'm gonna go tighten it up. That's what we're gonna do. All right, so we're gonna check hits on these. Uh, I think oh, that, might be an, oh, that might be an alpha Charlie. Dot dimmed on him, two A's. So alpha, alpha. So we're good to go on them. That was a total time of 12.23. Go ahead and show the timer. 12.23 for a bunch of targets, two A's. Felt pretty good. It felt pretty good. Uh, with no considerable walkthrough, Alpha Charlie it was not bad. Okay, these are the far guys. So 25. That transition across was really nice. Alpha Charlie. Uh oh. We got an Alpha Delta. I'm gonna say this was my first shot coming across, and then I cleaned it up. Price to pay for that transition right there. All right. So let's go tighten the RMR real fast. In like, cause it's it's flickered twice now. It's not too bad, and this is a Type 1 RMR. When they fixed the Type 2, they supposedly said no more flickering. Perhaps, I also have a uh, Battleworks, I think it's what's called, like raised plate underneath. So that's supposed to help as well. So. All right. Now the tricky, here's the worst part. If you will see, I have a gazillion, billion little wrenches in here. Oh, wow. Okay, I was able to get them a little tighter. Sweet. All right. Hopefully, that'll fix the problem. Uh-oh, no, it dimmed again. Oh, well. I'll have to address it later. Probably some debris under there. But we'll, we'll work through it. New magazine. New magazine. All right, let's do... I want to do that movement again. So, as you guys can see... I'm shooting this guy on the move. So these are not easy shots by any means. Hit that guy fast. No shoot on the move. Him, throttle up. So I'm gonna deal with all these on the move. I'll, I'll get rid of them, I won't, I'll isolate out, I won't shoot those. I'm just gonna start from here, away from the shooting area, because what that'll do is that'll allow me to get some momentum coming into that position. So starting here, I will draw, move, settle in, take the guy on the right first. I could take those, but I'm gonna hit those uh, later. So from here, let's get this timer from flying off. All right, you good? Yep. Stand by. Wow, a little sidestep there, that was horrible. And I know I uh, dropped the Delta on this side. Got a Alpha Charlie, might be a Delta. And the dot flickered on that guy, slightly dimmed a little bit. Yeah, Delta or Charlie, Alpha. This dude, I think he's all right. Yeah, he's fine, Alpha Charlie. Take that guy so fast coming through here. And then he's fine, he's good. And then these little dudes over here, Two A's, two A's. Oh no, no, that's a Charlie. Oh wait, yeah, that's a Charlie. That's an A, and these are A's. All right, all right, so now, so I like that, that's all, that's all fun and games. Let's just do a build drill. 
I want to push the speed a little bit. From concealment, I need ammo. What's time so far? 18. What'd you say? 18. 18? Holy cow. All right. We'll go out with a bang then. So six rounds on this guy. Let's do five yards. See what happens. <laughs> Drop one, first shot is here. And then I just moved up. The second up there is a 1.80. It's a first shot in 9.8. That's not great. My first shots, and if I was dry firing and practicing more, that would be more like an 8. So I've definitely gotten a little lax as far as my everything else goes. Let's do it one more time. Good recoil management. I know I could shoot that faster. Those are one sixes, one sevens. Actually, we'll brighten this up a little bit. <laughs> Feels like it's about the same. And I had a not the best grip left hand. So those two, everything else is A's. That was a one seven four first shot in a nine five. All right, so two in a row, about the same time. I'll take that. Whatever. Let's do. Just some crazy aimbot work from here. Boom, 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 boom. Gonna reload with that extended mag. All right. We'll do, oh, can I do three per? Yes, I can. Three per, 15 rounds total. Stand by. Oh, one round left, one in the chamber, all alphas, all A's. That was in 792. We got alpha, alpha, alpha. Those and then this guy was a super partial because he's at an angle. I decided to take him last second. Uh, Charlie, two A's. So I never hit the no shoot, thank goodness. Yeah, look at these. I can barely see this guy. Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. Slade. This guy. So we got Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. This nice aimbot coming through. Alpha, Alpha, Alpha. Not bad. Not bad. I like that. I felt, I felt good. Now let's just do a L transition. In ammo. All right, so these are close, and people are like, oh, it's a drill up close, that means it's easy. Wrong, if you do it fast, it's not easy. If I do this slow, absolutely easy all day. But I'm really gonna rip into these guys, try to hit this transition wide. Let me say 2.4 seconds. Say like 2.4, see what happens. Stand by. <laughs> Hung up on the shirt with my thumb. 2.4 seconds. Two alpha. Uh-oh, alpha delta. So sliding that kind of cross. <laughs> alpha, alpha. I think we'll end with that. Let's go check out the timer. So yeah, guys, that's just some uh, concealment stuff. Obviously, it's something that I need to work on more. I haven't done concealment stuff in a long time. Skills overall uh, are okay. Doing my reloads in sub three. My draws are still sub one. I'm not getting off multiple rounds in under a second. I hung up on my shirt twice with this thumb. Uh, I wanna try to fix that a little bit, pull the shirt a little higher, uh, release a little later. And then I had some grip stuff, but that can be solved with just uh, regular training. And that was 22.35. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe saw some stuff in there you can implement into your own training. Uh, it's definitely one reason I do a lot of these videos is to show people different things they can be working on, different things they can be doing. I get a lot of messages from units uh, and law enforcement and other folks that go, hey, we're using these drills in our training or we're using these as a standard at our unit. So there's definitely some drills in here you guys might have seen where it's like, 
that's great. If he's doing that in about 2.4 seconds. I'm gonna try to do the same drill, see where I'm at, uh, see what's going on. So that's one reason I put a lot of these videos out there, kind of show people what can be done if you train purposefully with discipline, uh, dry fire, you know, live fire, whatever it happens to be. Uh, real quick, so there's two holsters that I use. They're both sidecars. This is uh, our, our quick chip holster. It's just really basic uh, for a Glock 19. So I'll run this when I don't have a light. But normally speaking, I'm running this guy about 95% of the time. So I've got an X300 on there, and then I have a mid guard optic cut. It'll fit an RMR. It can also fit guns without optics. So I'm switching around. Like if I'm on the range doing concealment stuff, I swap around different guns in this holster like all day, and it's just fine. Obviously, shot timers are huge. If you want to actually have proper data on your training where you're not just grading accuracy, but you're also grading speed, you've got to have one of these. There's no other way of grading your speed and actually knowing what's going on without one of these. You can sit there all day and shoot and be like, oh, that felt faster. That felt pretty good, but you have no idea. But this will actually show you on the device exactly what's going on. So now you can check my, your accuracy, like, oh, six A zones in two, four, or six A zones in five, and you actually have a way of grading speed and accuracy. Because at, at the end of the day, that's what shooting is, speed and accuracy. So we'll be doing more of these one takes with other guns. Maybe I'll film another one today, maybe. Um, and then as you guys can see, uh, don't worry about this kind of stuff, getting uh, slide cuts. I, I get slide bite, especially with this gun, because I got some undercuts, which drives my hand a little uh, higher up into the gun. And then I get this nice little blood stain right here. Uh, but don't worry about that stuff. You know, Just because you're getting some slide bite doesn't mean you need to change up your back straps and do stuff like that. I, I don't like back straps. People recommend that to me all the time for fixing this. Downside of the back straps that I've had is when I go to index my pistol, it's harder for me to slide that thumb around if I'm trying to get past that big pointy lock back strap or a built-in back strap that someone stipples on. Uh, so I just, you know, just after a while, you don't feel this, kind of like you don't feel anything ever emotionally. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed that, just uh, subscribe to the channel. Definitely hit the little bell notification thing because like the you know, following channels doesn't mean a whole lot anymore. Uh, so you'll get, you know, uh, you'll get a report whenever we post a video, an email or however that stuff works, and you'll see what other one takes that we produce. So take care, train hard.